What's going on? Thanks for joining me for this video series as we continue to go over five technical service bulletins, otherwise known as TSBs, for the WRX with the CVT transmission, some also applicable to the six speed manual version of the car. This is part two, so check out the other videos in the series for more important TSBs that I feel you should be aware of. This list is, of course, not all inclusive. Be sure to check out the video description for more information. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more WRX, CVT, and general automotive content. Let's get right to it. If you own a 2015 to 2016 WRX or STI and you hear an abnormal knocking or fluttering type sound coming from your AC when you switch it on, you might want to see if the issue can be rectified by installing a new AC compressor as stated in this TSB. This issue might only affect a small number of vehicles, but if you have one of these early year models still under warranty and you notice something weird with the AC, definitely take it to the dealer for troubleshooting. If your car's identification number is as stated here or higher, then if you have this issue, it might be attributed to something else. Number two on this list is an informational TSB covering a lot of issues with a 7-inch Fujitsu 10 navigation stereos. Personally, I replaced the stock head unit as I was not generally happy with it, but if you still have the stock head unit in your car, you can use this TSB as a reference to help you fix a lot of issues you might encounter, including connectivity issues with your iPhone, voice command problems, Sirius XM, Starlink, Mirrorlink, backup camera, and just about anything else you can think of regarding infotainment functions. This TSB allows you to perform limited troubleshooting on your own for simple problems and can save you a trip to the dealer. The third TSB covers an ECM program file for people who experience spark knock or pinging. It lists the concerns as isolated, so it might not be as prevalent as other issues, but if you hear such a sound, it might be worth checking if your car had this particular file programmed in the ECM. While the TSB is not very detailed, any pinging type sound should be taken seriously because engine knocking can be detrimental to the engine, sometimes causing catastrophic failure over time. But even if you hear pinging or something that sounds like marbles in your engine that is not attributed to this, you should ensure that you are putting the proper octane rated fuel in your car, that you're properly tuned for the modifications you have, or that your car is in overall good health. Number four on my list is an actual recall of 2015 to 2016 WRXs addressing a turbocharger air intake duct susceptible to cracking. It lists possible symptoms as rough idle, reduced power, and stalling. Now, this was a recall TSB, so more than likely vehicles that had this turbocharger intake duct were already repaired. But I included it to advise that if you purchased a used WRX, especially a 2015 to 2016, and especially from a private seller, you should definitely check for any open recalls against the car's VIN to make sure the previous owner did their due diligence. One easy way of doing this is by getting a My Subaru account where you can see any active recalls and get other notifications about your car should they arise. This final TSB is informational in nature and it lists all of the recommended materials to use when you service your car. Of course, this is meant for service centers, but as a consumer, it can serve as a reference so you don't inadvertently put the wrong fluid in your car. Here you can see that different models use different transmission fluids. For the WRX CVT, if you're installing a CVT cooler, this TSB specifically tells you to use a special high torque version of the CVT fluid. It even tells you how to identify it and the part number. So if you go to a dealer and beg them to sell you a quart of CVT fluid and they hand you a green colored fluid, you will know you have the wrong one. You can also see what other fluids, adhesives, and general repair items the dealers will use when you bring your car in for service. I share this info to make you a more informed WRX owner. I love my car and I want to have all of the tools to help me care for it and ensure that possible issues don't go ignored. These aren't meant to dissuade anyone from considering one of these cars. Most of these issues might actually only affect a relatively small number of cars. If this video is useful to you, be sure to check out the others in the series where I cover five more important TSBs. And of course, if you appreciate it, give it a like, leave a comment below and consider subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching and take care.